Namaste. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very basic aspect when it comes to manifestation and attraction and how so many people who are trying to achieve something through manifestation ignore this very basic factor. We need to understand that when it comes to the world of spirituality, manifestation, we cannot ignore the basic things and try to achieve things that are much higher. To reach to these higher aspects, it is very important for us to first come face to face with these basic aspects. And one of these basic aspects that I am going to talk about today is understanding the difference between an experience of loneliness and an experience of aloneness. These two might sound similar because of dictionaries, but through a spiritual point of view, they are very different. Loneliness is a very negative experience and aloneness is a positive one. Loneliness makes a person think that they are completely separate from the existence. And aloneness makes you feel that you are in oneness with the existence. Aloneness gives you a glimpse into you are not separate between that what you want and who you want. You are just one. Loneliness only gives you a feeling that you need people all the time to be happy. But aloneness makes you understand that you do not need people to be happy, peaceful and joyful. Loneliness makes you feel miserable and sad. And aloneness makes you feel ecstatic. Thousands of years ago, when man wanted to fulfill his basic physical necessities, he had to struggle. He could not feel lonely then because he was too busy being hungry. So once a man has met all of his physical needs, then he moves on to wanting and trying to fulfill his psychological needs. And once he has fulfilled these psychological needs within him, he does not only move on to, but he is pushed towards his spiritual needs. He is pushed towards spirituality. And manifestation and attraction belong to the world of spirituality. The modern man has met all of his physical needs, shelter, food, clothing. He is trying to complete his psychological needs now. Loneliness, anger, frustration, confusion, fear, guilt, trauma and so on. Unless and until these are not met, he cannot move on to the world of spirituality, manifestation. One of these psychological needs is loneliness which we are talking about today. Unless and until you do not complete this basic obstacle that will lead you to the world of spirituality, you cannot move forward. There are many people who talk about manifestation and attraction without completing these basic levels. We need to understand that it is very important to clear these basic levels before you reach to higher levels of manifestation. And we need to understand that the key to unlock this level of loneliness is understanding what aloneness is, which is completely different from loneliness. Aloneness means the ability to relax within your own being without anything or without anybody. In a state of loneliness, you always feel that you need someone, you need something, but in a state of aloneness, you understand that you do not need anyone or anything in order to feel peaceful and joyful. And understanding this only in theory will not work. We need to experience this. Once we experience this, we understand the beauty of aloneness. And how do we reach this aloneness. We can only reach aloneness 
when we are able to sit in silence from our own thoughts we are able to sit in a place for at least 5 minutes with no thoughts in the mind because these thoughts are implanted into our mind by people by society so when there are constant thoughts in the mind there is always someone telling you what to be what to look like what to sound like what your personality should be like but when there are no thoughts in the mind for at least 5 minutes then in these 5 minutes there is nobody you have to please there is nobody you have to listen to there is no need to act according to somebody you can simply rest within your own being understanding that there is nobody to judge you here even when there are no people to judge you in a situation there are these thoughts that are judging you you are judging your own self because of society because these thoughts are implanted within your own mind so understanding how to get rid of these thoughts understanding how to stop this overthinking understanding how to not judge your own self is understanding aloneness and understanding aloneness is understanding how you can be in oneness with the world being in oneness with the world is understanding and not only understanding but experiencing being in oneness with that what you want and that who you want it gives you a glimpse into you experiencing that it is that you are not different from that and who you want oneness is the goal and in understanding oneness you have understood the art of manifestation oneness should be the goal oneness with the universe oneness with the divine once we experience this then manifestation is like how laughter is to a baby it does not need to be taught to you it happens naturally